Okay. I'm Hari Neff, and here are some things you should never say to a trans or a gender non-conforming person. Are you a boy or a girl? Hmm. <laughs> a lot of the times, trans and gender non-conforming people look gender ambiguous. They're in transition, or they don't really conform to either side. However, if you don't know somebody, and whether you're inquiring into their sex or their gender, it's invasive. Have you had all the surgeries or will you fully transition? Whatever surgery somebody wants to get, that's none of your business, especially if you don't know somebody. A trans person who hasn't gotten any surgeries is not incomplete in any way and it doesn't affect the validity of their gender presentation or their gender identity. So does this mean you're gay now? Sexuality is different from gender. Who you are attracted to has nothing to do with the gender you identify as. Sexuality is who you want to be with. Gender identity is how you want to be in the world. What's your real name? For a lot of trans and gender non-conforming people, it's hard to reflect about the past. And just because you were assigned a certain sex at birth with a certain name, it doesn't mean that reflects the gender or the identity you abide by. We call it a dead name. Because, you know, a lot of trans people and gender non-conforming people see their former name as dead. When did you know? This idea that there's always this one moment, that doesn't really exist. And to suggest that it boils down to one moment oversimplifies this idea of gender identity as sort of a passing whim or an epiphany. What happens if you want to go back? Because there's so much stigma and shame. We often question ourselves and we often wonder whether we're making the right decision because we don't have very much evidence around us to allow us to feel affirmed. So this is tough enough already. We're doing this because we have to. We're not going back. You know, even if the world is telling us to, we're trying to find the strength to stay on our course, because we need to. Where do you get the strength to be so brave every day? Making the choice to transition isn't an act of bravery, when the other choice can be kind of a life or death thing. Well, this is who you're supposed to be. It's not this big act of valiance that you defy the world every day. You're just trying to be yourself. And the word brave sensationalizes the trans experience. Something in our society, not to use the S word, <laughs> we feel like we can get to know someone if we know what their sex is, if we know all the details about their gender identity. But in reality, it's not really that important. And it's kind of hard for us to talk about this stuff. We've got it. We know what you want to know. It'll come out in its own way.